Well, first of all, the government finally gave people permission to buy Facebook when the valuation was $104 billion. You know, the reason companies like Facebook can't go public earlier on is because it's too expensive thanks to the government. Now all the opportunities belong to the venture capitalists, you know, the private equity guys. They get in on the ground floor. The government has made it impossible for small investors to buy. They're now the exit strategy. Well, They're how everybody public. else cashes in. Groupon you know? was only three years old when it went public, and that tanked too. Our lead story today, Facebook. Now, while I've consistently and loudly voiced my opinion about Facebook, I'm not a fan, today I'm giving them nothing but congratulatory praise. Thursday, Facebook's stock skyrocketed as much as 7.6% to an intraday high of almost $77, giving the company a total market cap of $197 billion. That's equivalent to the combined values of both UPS and American Express. So yeah, it's not small. Now, when measured by market cap, Facebook is now the 14th most valuable company on the S&P 500. And in order to surpass a market capitalization of $200 billion, the stock would need to be at $77.94, trading at that number, which it could very well do. Now, Facebook's stock is up more than 180% over the past year, and the social network has been lifted to new heights thanks to better-than-expected quarterly results, improved user growth, and mobile advertising. About 62% of Facebook's ad revenue now comes from advertising on mobile devices which according to eMarketer is expected to eclipse newspapers, magazines, and radio in the U.S. for the very first time this year. So bottom line, Facebook naysayers can now eat their words, myself included, because it's pretty clear that Facebook has successfully transformed itself into a mobile advertising juggernaut. And in reality, Facebook is probably even bigger than we think. The company actually has more than 2.2 billion active monthly users across its flagship properties, including WhatsApp, Instagram, and Messenger. Now, the total Facebook incorporated user base has roughly doubled in only one year's time. So basically, one in every three humans on the planet are on Facebook. But hold the door. My dear friend and colleague Edward Harrison thinks Facebook isn't all that.